Hello Divas and Dolls and welcome back to another Girl Group Gossip with me, Cheryl Hall. Yes! So this week on the podcast, we will be doing things a little bit differently and we will be hosting the first ever Girl Group Gossip Game. But we will be taking three rounds of iconic moments, British girl groups, and then a quick fire buzz round to test the diva's knowledge of girl group. Now, I had to go through, who do I want on the pod? Who do I want on the pod? And obviously I had so much fun the first time I had her on the podcast with me. So welcoming back, I've got Jan! Woo! Hello, Cheryl. What's going on, baby? Doll, it's so good to have you back on the pod. But Jan, we are not alone. We have got one of your season 12 sisters. And I have to say, this is the first time we are physically speaking, even though it's not physical. But please welcome one of your Hell's Kitchen divas. It's Jackie Cox! Oh my god, I'm so, so excited to be here. Oh, it's like a family reunion. Oh my god, I love it. How are we both? so good babe how are you doing do you know what i'm all good i mean we're on different time zones so i feel like it's like afternoon evening for me it's the morning for you divas so you're getting going and i'm winding down (laughs) it's a gorgeous i mean it is a very gloomy morning in new york city but it's gorgeous because i'm well i'm not even imagining it i got a preview of what your mug looks like right now cheryl and I think Jan and I are just doing backup for you on this girl group episode because, girl, you are the lead diva. Oh, stop it. I'm definitely not the Beyonce. I'm the Latavia of this group. <laughs> <laughs> not the oh Latavia. <laughs> but how has everything been? I mean, Jan, I know you've been a busy diva twirling for the kids online, but Miss Jackie, what have you been up to during lockdown? You know, I've been I've been just ten blocks from Jan, just just down, just down the the, the southern part of Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> um, it's you know, it's it's been an an intense time here in New York, but things are looking on the up, which is amazing. Um, and you know, just trying to enjoy what little bit of summer we can while being as safe as possible. Um, you know, and uh, twirling in my living room. <laughs> Honestly, the twirling in the living room is the new 2020 drag stage. And I think I love it. I hate it. But I want to be back on a normal stage now. Amen. Oh, please. And I mean, with other humans in a group, in a girl group would be the goal. I mean, having a gossip up in the club with a group of girls. I mean, you'd think this podcast was made for it. I mean, this podcast is definitely like some wish fulfillment for every every person who loves girl groups, which should be every person, period. Absolutely. Not wish.com then. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next season when they sponsor us, darling. Yeah. All Stars 27 for me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you want a sponsorship from wish.com. <laughs> And a badge. Do you Don't like ill fitting cosplay? Go to wish.com. <laughs> oh, please sponsor this podcast. <laughs> they have sponsored many a local drag queen. Good for them. Well, dolls, I have to say, I have to thank music for getting me through this lockdown. Now, what has been your song of lockdown? Oh, I mean, Chromatica 1 through Babylon. Is that a good answer? So, the whole album, <laughs> the, the entire album. I will say the first part of lockdown for me was still do la peep because that was still kind of fresh in our mind. Um, and I did listen to Chromatica, but I will say one time um, I, I did, you know, Jan and I did a couple of Black Lives Matter protests and she was like, Jackie, are you so into Chromatica yet? And I was like, no, it's kind of like easy listening or whatever. But then I like just sat in my apartment in the dark and listened to Chromatica front to back. And I was like, all right, now I'm in. Loved you, it. You've entered the game. I, I'm now. I am on Chromatica, uh, living it. And now, I guess I started listening to the new Taylor Swift, and I wasn't so excited. But maybe Jan will help me with that one too. Jan, are you a T, T- Swift fan? Um, I uh, I don't not like her, but <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I will say, Folklore is like the first album of Taylor Swift that I've listened to at midnight when it's come out. Um, 
And I don't know if I'll be revisiting that again. I think that that was honest <laughs> to God out of boredom for me. Um, I do like when artists switch it up. You know, I love Gaga's Joanne era. We really do. But um, I'm a, I am ai like 1989. I like Red. Folklore, not my vibe. Um, but you know what? If we can make a meme out of it, let's do it. And I absolutely took a picture of me in a cardigan in the woods this week. <laughs> I used it as an opportunity to just share more of me and my Lisa Rinna cardigan. So, you know, whatever works. <laughs> I, 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 own it. Own it. Exactly. <laughs> Owning it. Exactly, Jackie. Like, oh, my God. Where there's a will, there's a grace. Honey. Oh, my God. Do you know what? I haven't listened to it yet. Is that bad? <laughs> it's not. It's not, Cheryl. It's not bad. And maybe she should have done a visual album like our Queen Beyonce. And we would have all been more into it. Bloop. <laughs> well wasn't chromatica meant to be a visual album or am i just putting gaga on blast <laughs> no i think it was supposed to have a lot more music videos and um i'm hoping that she gets back to it i've heard that they're supposed to film at least two or three more um so fingers crossed that she does that with a girl group i'm really looking forward to hopefully a sour candy video with black pink i would uh die you know that's going to be epic. I, I want to see Gaga just slice some choreo with them, too. Because we got it in Rain On Me. We obviously got it in Stupid Love, too. But I would love to see Gaga do some Blackpink choreo and absolutely slay it. Wait, can we talk about K-pop girl groups um, for, like, a quick sec? Because in my mind, K-pop girl groups are, like, the final evolution of the girl group trend that really started with the Spice Girls. And, like, imagine if we hadn't, I won't say moved on from girl groups, but if girl groups had stayed the focus of American and British pop music, I think they would have evolved into K-pop because yeah. K-pop is so intensely beautiful, choreographed. I wish I moved anything like that. I don't. <laughs> and they're also gorgeous. It's amazing. I'm obsessed. I don't understand anything that they're singing and I love it. It's like Sierra level up. They've just taken a level up. <laughs> they know what they're doing. Seriously. It's so good. And I think that it's just totally different than anything else we have over here. And I just love how they can bounce back between English and Korean. And and we're just still like, come on, baby. I want to move these lips because I love this song. And I, I think I know what I'm saying. And I have no idea. No idea. None at all. But sounds gorgeous. Well, I've got a question for you both, because obviously things are very different over here because there are so many British girl groups that like I was like racking my brain and thinking like post Fifth Harmony, has there been a big US girl group? Hmm. <laughs> um, the Cheetah Girls? No, um, I, uh, I know Fifth Harmony definitely is probably the Dolls, but uh, Stephanie's Child is also a very up and coming group. Um, <laughs> work. Yeah, I would say Stephanie's Child is, I think, I think the most up and coming girl group. I would agree with that. Yeah, I think, I think honestly, I'm ready. They were like, you know, between Fifth, Fifth Harmony, I think the one before them was who? Like Danity Kane, Pussycat Dolls. Like, I can't think of anybody after right now. So there's room in the market. <laughs> I mean, you're going to step your toes in there and just be like, bitches, I'm here. Cheryl, just move here for a little and we'll just start one. Um, deal, because right now I'm having so much FOMO that you're 10 blocks down the road from each other that I'm like sitting here in Little Essex with nobody around me that I could just go visit and annoy. So <laughs> I'm coming. Oh, my God. Are, are, are at least the tanning salons open in Essex? Because we know the Essex girls love their tans. Darling, I have to say it's been a long time coming. I think they're open, but I'm not got confirmation if the one down the road from me is open yet. But I've been embracing the au natural. I'm starting to look a bit haggard in my old age. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, not at all. Not at all, Cheryl. Stunning, gorgeous. Yeah, Cheryl. Diva. If this picture you sent doesn't any indication of how you're looking, Diva. You're looking gorgeous. Oh, well, thank you. Well, I'm just going to have a little swiggy and soak it up. But no, we are here to discuss all things girl groups. Now, I've got a couple of questions for you both because I love to know people's like backstories when it comes to girl groups because I've got such a like real history from a young age. So, what was the first group that you both fell in love with? Hmm. Um, for me, okay, so my first, like, 
exposure to really pop music was I think like the Spice Girls because growing up I wasn't like allowed to listen to a lot of American pop music and like you know when we were young it's not like kids had like Walkmans in like elementary school but then I'm pretty sure when I entered middle school in sixth grade is when like kids finally started bringing like their their Walkmans. The kids don't even know what Walkmans are. They're, they're the iPods before iPods were iPods. Um, so they bring them and they were like, there's this new group called the Spice Girls. And I was obviously obsessed as uh, you may have seen on my one woman's show from season 12. Um, my mom did not really approve of me loving it that much. <laughs> um, even though I thought I was a real diva and could dance. Um, and then, and then she kind of like shut that down. So then it wasn't until I kind of moved out uh, in like around the turn of the century in the year 2000 <laughs> that I came back. I came back to the girl groups with Destiny's Child, who is like my that is like my high school moment is Destiny's Child living, loving um, all all four, six, however many there ever were in Destiny's Child was kind of like my my then renaissance of the girl groups, which led me to like 3LW, which is the precursor to Cheetah Girls, yes. like that little era right there. Um, and of course, the precursor to Pussycat Dolls, Nicole Scherzinger, Eden's Crush. Come on now. Oh my God. So then I had this like brief renaissance through high school and college where I like- Not renaissance. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I, I was living for the girl groups. I thought I could maybe even learn how to dance like them. Um, and clearly I was mistaken, but I lived and I loved. Honestly, I have to, I think the Spice Girls was everybody's gateway to girl groups. Same. Whether you were 12, whether you were two, like there was something that you always resonated with the Spice Girls. And then it just leads on to the rest of them. Like you said, with Destiny's Child, that was Girls Aloud for me over here that were like the crucial girl group to my like growing up. But Jan, what was yours? And I'm pretty sure it's the Spice Girls, but go ahead. Yeah, it was the Spice Girls. And I was obsessed with them. I They were my first concert. My parents bought me all of the memorabilia. I had every single one of the dolls, all of the figurines, all of the pop books, all of the posters. I burned the cd spice world uh, the dvd of spice world like i it was it was everything to me i love the spice girls so much i actually have a very traumatic memory from my kindergarten class if you want me to share it's actually kind of funny please we were doing show and tell and i remember that i had a scary spice figurine that i wanted to bring in and have all of the people guest uh, um guess who I had but it could be anything so nobody knew that I had a scary spice figurine but I was just like okay this has a, a zebra print outfit and they're a singer and blah 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 and I whipped out the scary spice doll and everybody started hysterically laughing at me and I ran to my teacher and cried oh, I know Jan. I know oh no oh, I, I no. knew I knew that oh. was not going to deter me and it was not going to steer me off the track from being an ultimate Spice Girl stan. And so nevertheless, she persisted and here she is today to live the tale. Being a true diva. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but we're, we're going off topic. I always go off tangent. Right, let's... Girl groups, that's what we're here for. Girl groups. So... <laughs> right they're just so inspirational they inspire us to talk about everything i know but i've got the mind of like a goldfish so like i forget what i'm talking about after three seconds so let's get back to business now what is one of your all-time favorite girl groups it's gonna have to be destiny's child for me because we saw them go through so much and then to see them like come back together from time to time always warms my heart so much <laughs> and that they're still talking to oh, michelle oh after all God. these years it's, it's beautiful <laughs> it's touching i live do you want to know what my favorite michelle moment is of all time please <laughs> Right, let's flash back to the first season of RuPaul's Drag Race and Ru goes to Michelle. Michelle, can you handle this? And she goes, <laughs> I don't know, I think so. And then Ru looks at her and goes, I don't think she can handle this. And then she oh twigs and she goes, Woo! <laughs> The episode where Tammy 
iconically lip syncs. I mean, can we can we talk about Tammy lip sync doing a girl group number? It's just iconic. I mean, I would I would happily break the dawn with Tammy Brown any day of the week. She should be in every girl group. Oh my. <laughs> I mean, I would love to see a dead body with Tammy Brown. As well. Oh, Lordy. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Girl. Jan, what's your favorite all-time girl group? Um, I think my, uh, my all-time favorite has to be the Spice Girls. <laughs> it, just, it just has to be. It has to be. The music is transcendent. We still listen yeah. to it today. Anytime it comes on in a club or on Spotify, Shuffle, or anywhere... It's just always a bop. And I think, like, I worked with a DJ um, at a bar that I used to work at. And every song, every time that we, uh, like, you know how you have your song that you go, uh, like, you do before the show actually starts? Mine was Who Do You Think You Are? And I love it. I just love them so much. I remember I met Jerry Hollowell when I was, I think, seven years old in New York City. Maybe maybe six or seven. It was when her solo um, solo career happened. And she, um, her It's Raining Men cover? Yes, that, um, <clears throat> but it was like the, look at me, da, ba, da, ba, da, that one. But I met her and she was like, she told my grandparents, she was like, this boy's going to be a little star. So watch out for him. And honey, seven a year old me, 20 years later, she's here, RuPaul's Drag Race, being a star. And uh, I have to say, I fulfilled the prophecy. I manifested that destiny. Oh my god, manifested! I can't. You are a fucking stump. Wait, can I adjust my answer, Cheryl? Because my favorite group is Destiny's Child. But this song, when it comes on, like, no matter what's going on, I have to stop everything I'm doing and just scrout for my life. I think my favorite girl group song is Damaged by Danity Kane. It's oh. such a bop. It's such a bop. Do you know what? I am not well rounded with Danity Kane. I have to throw my hands up and say they just didn't crack over here. They, I'm sure. Yeah, they were more of a niche moment over here. Um, but Jackie, I'm gonna have to echo that. Damaged was the moment. I remember. Do you ever remember like playing like games on like Disney Channel or whatever, like DisneyChannel.com? Work. And you had to like name yourself. Like if you ever got a high score, you had to name yourself. Yeah. 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 I would always put damaged. I would be playing like Rufus Buenos Tacos, like from Kim Possible. And I'm not going to lie, I was very good at that game. Uh, and so if I ever got into the high score, I would just say damaged. Why? No idea. That's what I'm saying. Like, like the irony is that like, if that was inspired by a girl group, like, but everyone reading it's like, oh, this emo kid just loves these Disney Channel games. But like, no, you're like, I love Disney Channel and I love Danity Kane. And that's why I'm damaged. Was it my favorite song or a cry for help? Who knows? I mean, <laughs> I've got this image of Jan on like Club Penguin with the confused yes! name. <laughs> damaged. And these kids are like, do you want to go to the cafe? You're like, yes, I'm damaged. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get oh an iced God. coffee and talk because I'm damaged, babe. She was feeling the fantasy. She was feeling the Jan to see, even at that age. The Jan to see has been alive and well for years and years. Wow. I, I have no words. I'm actually speechless, and that very rarely happens. <laughs> Wait. I got it away. Right. <laughs> I've got one more question before we get down to business. Now, we always dream of being in a girl group, and I have had many uh, Jana Fed stations of ones that could happen. <laughs> so if you could join one girl group, what would it be and why? Oh, Okay. Okay, I think this is going to sound dumb, but okay, listen to my strategy here, because you know, Jackie, she's always thinking. Okay, do you guys remember Dream as put together by P. Diddy? I think I do. Was that on Keeping Up with the Kardashians? They did that song, uh, 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 She Loves Me, She Loves You Not. Do we remember this? I, no. I do remember it. I do remember okay. it. Very vaguely, okay. but I do. Yeah, so their big their big hit was He Loves You Not in 2001, and what was great about it was there were three of them who were really hot and could dance, and then one of them who could sing and not dance, and I would like to be the one who can kind of sing and definitely not dance, and I feel like then I would be the star of that. <laughs> 
So that's my strategy here. You pick a you pick a lesser known girl group with one hit song. You swoop in, you take over, and then you're the head diva. You're the, you are the Nicole Scherzinger. Oh my god, that's a very good plan. That's my strategy. Watch out, Stephanie's child. Oh. Coming in. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> no, not confident. Our demise. If I had to be a part of a girl group, I would love to be a part of, I think my final answer has to be the Dolls from Canada's Drag Race. Uh, no, I... <laughs> <laughs> the Dwalls? <laughs> the Dwalls? Um, no, I think if I had to be a part of one, I probably would love to be a part of Fifth Harmony. I would have gladly taken over Camilla's spot and um, kept the group going. Um, I could do all that high stuff that Camilla does. Great. You take over Camilla's spot there. Can I take over Camilla's spot as Sean Mendez's girlfriend? Girl. Abs- yes, absolutely. Jackie, we are on the same wavelength right here, right now. Okay, Mart. Wouldn't we all? <laughs> right? Oh, my God. Strategy. Strategy. Sasha Bell. Um, <laughs> I- oh, my God. <laughs> Jan, deep cut. My dream would be to be in the Spice Girls, but like, if it's not broke, don't fix it, baby. Uh, and they're just, it's just such a perfect package. I couldn't even imagine trying to break my way into that group, you know? Well, there's a rumor that they're doing a 25 year anniversary tour again next year, and then that will be the last one. So, whatever you do, you both need to fly over here. We all need to go. We all need to live our Spice Girl fantasy. Honey, it's a wrap. I'm pissed at myself that I didn't get to go over to the West End to see Viva Forever. And I'm also angry that I didn't get to go over and see the concert last time. I think that it was happening while we were getting ready for Drag Race, if I'm not mistaken. So I... Um, I believe so, yeah. I think it was. Not that I know your timelines, but yeah. <laughs> what a secret. Ooh, when did they film? The show just appeared one day. <laughs> <laughs> I just was at the Spice Girls concert, got lost there. Um, there's two things that I'm making plans for next year. It is Chromatica, the Chromatica Ball, and the Spice Girls 25th Annual uh, 25th anniversary tour. Excuse me, what happened to the PCD tour we were meant to go to as well? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Hey, that's true too. And the Filth Harmony reunion, lest we forget the filth, long anticipated Filth Harmony reunion. Right. You're getting an exclusive here that is never happening again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I don't think we can go through that trauma of that again. I mean, if I could be part of any group, I'd be. F- bloody uh the frog destroyers because i might actually have a fucking badge on my left tit right now <laughs> oh, wait wait <laughs> girls but we are in an exclusive club of people who definitely didn't win any challenges <laughs> on RuPaul's Drag Race. Woo! the rock club losing <laughs> is the new winning <laughs> <laughs> don't trigger her like that all right <laughs> <laughs> honey i get it jack cox can't put her in a box <laughs> My God! I mean, these these are these are. I'm a rhyming genius. I so any any girl group would be happy to have us. me or Jan or you, Cheryl. I mean, what it, well, Jackie? What's the line? Twerking on my merkin while I'm turning up the amp. Turning up the amp. Okay. Originally, originally, here's some real insider hot goss. Ooh. Um, the end of it was going to say while I'm looking like a tramp, but then oh. I realized a I don't look like a tramp, and b like, it's supposed to be, like, uplifting. And then I was like, well, what rhymes with lamp? And then I was like, amp, like a guitar amp. So that, look, inside, inside the lyrics. Ooh, look at this exclusive. Well, I wrote my lyrics because I was like, oh, what category are we on right now? Oh, yeah, Essex. And that's my name, Cheryl Hall. And I'm sick of playing games with these bitches and working with these trolls. So there we go. Those are behind the lyrics of Cheryl. (laughs) Work. My line in my lyric that I was supposed to change for my opening for You Don't Know Me was supposed to be my stunning look, this sickening hook. I am C-U-N-T. Work. But, But that got cut. Left on the floor. Family friendly. Never to see the light of day. And you know what? It might get cut from this podcast, too. And you know what? I'm here to be okay with that. <laughs> Work. Shall we get down to business with round one of the girl group gossip games? Are you guys actually ready for this? I 
I am ready. I'm nervous, but ready. I'm feeling like I'm coming in as the underdog because I don't have Jan's encyclopedic knowledge of almost everything. <laughs> so I'm nervous, but I'm prepared. Um, I expect a full like underdog package when we air this in the Olympics for 20, whenever they happen. Um, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm living. I'm ready. Oh, well, do you know what? I thought it'd be fun to kick off round one with how well do you know your British girl groups? Now, I think <laughs> I think you will know more than you will let on, but we shall kick this off. Now, with each round, we're going to have five questions, and I will be keeping score with my trusty pen and paper here because I can't do technology. But let's kick <laughs> it off with question number one, girls. Are you ready? Ready. I'm ready. So, true or false, is Candy Floss, and it's, that's Candy Floss with a K, a real British girl group? True or false? What do you think? Um, I'm going to have to go with f- true. I mean, I'm going to go with false, because I feel like Brits wouldn't use a K when they spell candy. They'd use O's and U's together, but I don't know about a K. <laughs> wow see i'm like there isn't what's the other name it's like atomic something i'm like what What? what's their name atomic kitten yeah i'm like if that exists why not candy floss <laughs> well i can confirm that it is actually true so jan gets a point <laughs> but <laughs> people could argue that it's technically not a real girl group because it was a girl group made up for Celebrity Big Brother and they put in a normal person in with the celebrities and she had to pretend that she was in this girl group called Candy Plus. Called Candy <laughs> so she, okay. had re- she had to record the song. So it's a real song that's on Spotify called I Want It All. So they are technically a real girl group. So Jan gets the point. I mean... I was going to say, if there's music for purchase, it's a little vibe. <laughs> I mean, I have a song on Spotify. I don't know if that makes me a recording artist, but okay, I'll take the point. <laughs> Jackie, it 100% does. Do not <laughs> belittle your career. Everybody stream You Wish by Jackie Cox today for you. <laughs> I think so. Bryce, get the single. Bryce, get the single. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Question number two. Now, Girls Aloud, my favorite girl group, have the most consecutive top 10 hits in the UK with Little Mix closely following behind. But how many top 10s do they have? Is it A, 17, B, 19, or C, 21? Oh, I remember you talking about this on a podcast. Oh, God. I'm going to just say 19 because um, it's in the middle. There you go. How's that? Guess. 19. That's my guess. <laughs> and I, I'm i going to go with 19 as well. Well, you're both wrong because it's 21 consecutive top 10 here. Wow. Oh, good job, girls allowed. Good for them. Split across nine years. That's incredible. That's mad. I mean, the Spice Girls have the hugest worldwide success, but in the UK, they had the biggest success, and I love them to pieces. If you don't know the music, you should go listen to, because Jan didn't know about the Saturdays, and she's now a Saturdays fan. I'm a Saturdays fan. Converted. Wait, I have a question for you, Cheryl, because I've heard this, but is it true that I feel like, in general... Pop music in the UK has a faster turnaround. Like people get really hot and then they go away and then they're hot and then they're gone. So is that, first of all, is that true or not? Because if that's true, then how amazing of nine consecutive years of hits. That's really, that's hard for anywhere, anyone, anywhere. There's so many one hit wonders over here. Like you'll be like, oh, this person's amazing. And then they just disappear. It's like Katy Perry. You're hot and you're cold. You're yes, then you know. You're in, then you're out. You're up, then you're down. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I thought I thought you weren't even gonna reference hot and cold. I thought you were just gonna be like, it's just like Katy Perry. I just like, oh fall into God. obscurity. <laughs> I mean, I won't mention Katy Perry and the four singles I've forgotten that she's just released. The, the, the obscure artist known as Catrice Perrine. <laughs> <laughs> Stream Harley's in Hawaii. Right, let's get back to the quiz. Right. Question number three. Who went viral for their Jamaican accent on a quiz show going? Bali. 
<laughs> what leg? Was it A, Mel C from the Spice Girls, B, Mucha Buena from the Sugar Babes, or was it C, Jesse Nelson from Little Mix? So Priyanka is not an acceptable answer. <laughs> no, Priyanka from Canada's Drag Race is not. Oh, dang. Dang it. My final answer is C. <laughs> I-, I think it was Mel, but I could be, I'm probably wrong. Who was it? <laughs> it was C, Jesse Nelson from Little Mix. Oh my God. Jan, I knew this. I knew this was starting to happen. Honey, it's okay. Thy other screen name was Ball Leg Day 12. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Ball Leg Day 12. <laughs> ball Leg Day on 12. <laughs> Honey, every day is Ball Leg That's Day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> so here for it <laughs> oh my god i could not <laughs> my fucking makeup is gonna be running any second now stop it <laughs> you better right. go catch it <laughs> question, question number four question number four <laughs> all right <sighs> right dildo 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 okay how many <laughs> I have to say something inappropriate for me to calm down, okay? How many members of the Sugar Babes have there been? So the Sugar Babes are well known for their turnaround and revolving door of members. So how many members has there been? Is there A, five, B, six, or C, eight? Um, I'm going to go with six. I'm going to go with eight because that's the biggest number. And if that's what they're known for, I'm here to put it. I'm putting all my chips on eight. Well, unfortunately, Jackie, you were wrong because it is B6. <laughs> Woo! Oh, my God. B6. Bingo. Yes, bitch. We can never go back to B6. <laughs> <laughs> Question number five. The final one on how well do you know your British girl groups? I'm really hoping you finally get an answer, Jackie. Question number five. <laughs> oh, my God. Who drove the Spice Bus to get to the Royal Howard Hall concert in the iconic 1997 movie Spice World? Was it A, Victoria, B, Emma, or C, Mel B? <sighs> Jackie, I know this answer, so I'm going to let you give your answer first. You guys, oh my God, you're like having me remember things that happened <laughs> 25, 30 years ago. Um, okay, okay, okay. Okay, you know what? I feel like it's funniest. I'm, I'm, I'm so bad at remembering this. Here's the thing. Okay, this is the thing. I really wanted to go see the Spice World movie in theaters, but my mom wouldn't let me. So I only saw it once at my friend's place because we were in their basement and they had the VHS and I finally got to watch it. But it was like one time only. So forgive me. I'm going to say it was Victoria. And um, Cheryl, my answer in Victoria fashion is, and I'm Victoria, Malcolm. It is A. (laughs) (laughs) And it is, hold on to your knickers, girls. It's Victoria. (laughs) Oh, my God. I thought I was going to be the Cheryl Hall of this competition. Right, piss off. No! Get the fire exit door, I'm off. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know what? That movie, Jackie, it's the full movie is on YouTube. When you're done, go stick it on and live your best life because I have to say, I think every one of them deserved an Oscar for that movie. Yeah, Jackie, I it's purchased on my Apple TV. So anytime you need doll, I'll give you the login. Work. Okay. Definitely doing it. Will you also send me your not this um, uh, lamp to watch it next to my TV? Thanks. Absolutely. <laughs> it's just crazy to me. Alan Cumming has such a career from Cabaret to the Spy Kids to the Spice World. Done. There. And Elton John coming in and making a cameo. I mean, honey, that's a sign from above. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> right. At the end of round one, Jan has four and jackie has won so you know <laughs> oh my god you've got time jackie to claw it back because we're gonna take a little break i'm gonna go have a tinkle and a refresh and uh brush up 
on your knowledge of girl groups because we'll be right back after this break. Woo! <laughs> Hey, kitty girls, I'm Jeffrey Boyer Chapman, and I will be hosting Canada's Drag Race official podcast every Friday. From the challenges to the runway, we will cover all things Canada's Drag Race. Available Fridays where you listen to podcasts. Here we go, just like Joanne. We're back, my divas. Now I feel refreshed. How are you doing, dolls? So good. I'm feeling lovely and gorgeous, and despite the rain, I hope you guys can't hear, someone is sawing profusely uh, back behind my apartment building. Who knows what? Hopefully, uh, heads won't roll. I don't know what's happening. Off with your head to dance till you're dead. Yep. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> well, I hope you've been brushing up in that little minute break <laughs> 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 on your girl group knowledge, because we are about to enter into round two, which is something we do on the podcast with each episode and discuss some iconic moments because we all know these girl groups have some really iconic moments. So are you ready for round two? Yes. <sighs> I'm ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Number one. In 2001, before joining Girls Aloud, Nadine Coyle appeared on Irish Pop Stars, but famously misplaced what personal item when asked to confirm her real age because she lied about her age? Is it A, her passport, B, her driver's license, or C, her prescription? Wait, she famously misplaced it? Like she hid it from the camera? She couldn't find it. It wasn't in any of her bags at all. I, I I actually I actually know this, so Jackie, I'm gonna let you take this wig at it first too. <laughs> okay, just literally gonna guess. I'm gonna guess passport because that's that's my guess. Because if she's uh, an Irish pop star and she was in a British girl group, you have to have a passport to travel between the two countries. So that's my guess. Come on, logic. Yeah, I'm gonna go with passport. <laughs> She did misplace her passport. So <laughs> I'll give you some context. So basically, she was in an interview. And you know how you're like, uh, I'm Cheryl Hall, I'm 25, and I'm from Essex. She was like, I'm Nadine Coyle, I'm from Larkal and Derry, date of birth 15th of the 6th, 85, making me a Gemini. <laughs> and, and then she tweaked that she said her real date of birth instead of the fake one. So then they were like, well, that date of birth says she's 16 and you need to be 18 so they were like can you show us your passport please and she's like rooting around this room like really terribly looking for these like passport and then she gets her phone and she's like mommy have you seen my passport <laughs> and it, it's you need to go watch it because it's the greatest moment in british television it's really good wait i think the second greatest in british podcast history has to be cheryl whatever this accent work you're giving us is is this she irish is she american we'll never know well nadine's kind of got a hybrid because she lived in la for like five years so she's got this weird like wow. la irish hybrid accent now which i think is iconic that is iconic. Very exciting. I'm going to have to check it out. Also, wow, way to flip it on its head because me, I assume she was lying about being older than she is because that's what <laughs> I would do. <laughs> Welcome to the club, Diva. Well, I'm not, I'm 20, I'm 26 now. She's aged a bit. But yeah, let's get down to business to question number two. So after a member of Fifth Harmony left the band, they took to the VMA stage and used a stunt double to fling the ex-member off the stage during the performance. But who was the member? Was it A, Ali, B, Normani, or C, Camilla? It, Camilla left first, right? 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 Am I wrong? Oh God, I'm probably wrong. I can't tell you. I'm the quiz master. <laughs> I'm going to say Camilla because I think she left first. But if I'm wrong, Jan will probably get this right. Camilla. <laughs> and you were both correct. It was Camilla. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. You guys, thank God no one's going to take away my gay card today. Jackie, you're two for two. <laughs> As Ashley Owen said, hey, y'all, waho. I'm on a roll. Good for you, Jackie. <laughs> I'm on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> right, question number three. How did the Spice Girls arrive to the Olympics 2012? Not girl group gossip games. So was it A, a helicopter landing, B, in black cabs, 
or was it C on the back of a milk float? Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. I remember the Olympics. I remember Harry Potter versus Mary Poppins. I don't, I remember these things happening. Oh my God, yes. Okay. I'm trying to remember the Spice Girls moment. Okay. I'm getting it in my head. Jan, do you know this one? I do. Of course you do. <laughs> okay. This is, let's see Jackie guest using context clues. Okay. So my thought is this, because Mary Poppins and Harry were in the air, because I remember that very distinctly. And because we know the black, we know the black taxi cabs are very, you know, very British. I'm going to say the black taxi cabs because they would want to showcase a different famous thing. I could be wrong, but I'm going to guess the black taxi cabs. Black taxi cabs. You are both correct. And they all were like, they, they were like changing shapes. Like they were like LED screens, right? So they were all lit up with their like spice vibes. So like Posh has yeah. just stayed black. Uh, Jerry's had a Union Jack on it. Mel B had all the leopard print. Emma's was like pink. And it was it was iconic. Work. I love those British taxi cabs. They're so cute. It's like the thing that you go, oh my God, there it is. And then you get in it and you're like, can I get out now? <laughs> I've been in it. <laughs> I have to say, whenever I visit New York, I always jump in one straight from JFK into Manhattan because I don't trust Uber. I really do not trust Uber in New York because I did it once and I was sat in traffic and the rating was just going up and up and up. Whereas the the yellow cabs, they're like, oh, it's just this much from JFK. I'm like, yeah, it's a flat rate from from JFK to anywhere in Manhattan on a yellow cab. Thank you, uh, Bloomberg. I think Bloomberg was the one who instituted that, but I could be wrong. I mean, we're just educating the children today. <laughs> so just, just Jackie guessing stuff is the name of this game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question number four. Now, this is a question near and dear to my heart. So how many girl group songs were lip synced on the first season of Drag Race UK? And I will give you bonus points if you can name the all their bands so was it a three b four or c five huh i'm trying to go through all of them in my head right now did jen this this question is definitely for you because you are you're my encyclopedia whenever i want to know like who's eliminated fifth on season four i just text jan and within minutes she's faster than wikipedia well thank you and it's slipping my mind right now but uh <laughs> I I know of at least two, and I know what those are. So I'm trying to think of the... We definitely had Spice Girls and Girls Aloud, right? Those were two. Am I wrong? Yes. Right? Jan, help me. I don't know if there was Girls Aloud. They didn't have Cheryl lip sync to Girls Aloud? That's a missed opportunity. No, I think that was Cheryl's actual like solo song oh okay okay so, so here we go here we go they definitely did spice up your life yes you definitely jackie we're gonna we're gonna do a joint effort on this one I'm, I'm and then and cheryl i'm trying to think of your mega mix that you did for your for your shows um i know there's definitely motorbike motorbike bike 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 um by little mix yes yes and i'm tr- and i'm trying to think of what else i know that there was an amy song uh what was the first one do du- doula peep was the first one the second one was oh 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 oh. okay venus is that a girl group yes okay so that's three i'm gonna go with well and then you have to think about like vinegar strokes have three different wig reveals so maybe that's also a girl group <laughs> <laughs> one shit wig to another shit wig <laughs> oh my god Oh boy! <laughs> and then glitter stuck to her sweaty forehead. <laughs> Honey, may we all may we all be so lucky? Uh, I'm like I'm gonna be pissed if I say three and then I missed one because I just can't recall. But I know that it it is at least three. Um, so sh- let should we go with three? Let's go for it! All right, three. Final answer. Well, guys, yes, you got three. Yes. <gasps> So oh you got God. a bonus point as well as your answer. So you get two points for that. Yay! Oh my God, I'm thrilled. Work. Jan, between our minds, we are iconic. We are the winner of the iconic moments round. <laughs> wow. Well, we still got one question to go. So. <laughs> oh, shoot. There's one more. Okay. Okay. Smoke too soon. 
This is really easy, this one, and I don't know why I put it in there, but I just think it's funny. So, <laughs> question number five, the final one of the iconic moments round. Which member of Destiny's Child falls down the most? Oh my God. <laughs> is, it, is it A, Beyonce, B, Michelle, or C, Kelly? I'm going to have to go with D, Laguna. <laughs> um... <laughs> oh my God. Uh, but it's Michelle. Michelle. It is definitely Michelle. And if it's not Michelle, it's the fact uh, that Solange could have been a pop star and she she never quite made it there, did she? Well, when Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Michelle, we love you. And you know what? I will say this. It's so inspiring to me that Michelle is like, does not give two Fs and is just like, yep, this is me. Don't care. She never seems embarrassed. She just like lives her best life. That's something we can all aspire to. Honey, she said, this is real. This is me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. I'm going to let that light shine on me. <laughs> well, it's like at the, at the Super Bowl when they didn't turn her microphone up, but they left Beyonce's at full volume. And she's like, I'm up on you. Up on me. Don't pay you any attention. And you know what? You know what the really sad thing is? It's like sometimes like, when they turn the microphone down for some of the other dolls, like, they're just not good. Michelle's good. All of them are so good. Michelle has an amazing voice. And I, I love the texture, the tone of it. I mean, it's there's a reason that Beyonce let her have the bridge of most of their songs when it was the three of them. It's because the bridge is where you have to want to connect emotionally to a song. Uh, whoa. It's the journey. It's the journey from the beginning of the song to the end. It happens in the bridge. And Michelle sings most of the bridges. So... There you go. Fabulous. Well, that concludes the end of round two. And you both had full points across the board with six points. Yes. Woo! So, Jan, you're on nine at the moment. And Jackie, you're on seven. So you're not that far behind, really. All right. That is much better than where I started this game. Woo! Please don't utter much better in my presence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I would never say that. For you. I feel like we all did very well. I didn't do I wrote these questions, but I feel like you did really well that round. Ooh, I'm very, very grateful. I think we had a perfect score. Honey. You did. Six is across the board. <laughs> it sounds like my typical score. Ten points for Gryffindor. <laughs> yeah, Ravenclaw over here is I... not not there. <laughs> I cannot do maps clearly. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> right. Jan, you're on 10. <laughs> Jackie, you're on 7. Okay, right. We should have brought in Kind to do the scorekeeping, but she's busy. <laughs> <laughs> she's busy. She's got wigs to make. She does. Final round, round three. This is the chance for Jackie to get ruthless and win some <sighs> points back because we are going into a buzzer round. Now, I have, prior to tonight, I have asked these girls to prepare a buzzer sound effect. So, Jackie, could you please give us your buzzer sound effect into the microphone? That's my buzzer. <laughs> my hype noise. I have a button that literally says hype plus cheers. That's the button I'm using. See, I, I just do my own verbal. But I need, you need to send me the link. I hope it's on Amazon so I can get it. I, I need to find out. Someone sent this to me because they said, it sounds like you're doing all of these shows on, from your home. You need to make it seem more exciting. So I have a hype plus cheers button. You know, now everything I do is just so. <laughs> Woo I mean, the constipation stopped. <laughs> oh my God. Right, Jan, I, I think the kids know what your sound effect's going to be, but please, for our own entertainment. Press your button. All right, here we go. <laughs> the shade of it all. Honey, the keeper of the shade button. You know, if they had a big old shade button in the workroom on season one of UK, I would be all over that as well. <laughs> so you had the right mind. Yeah, girl. It's always on me. Always around. But there's always shade following you. And it, it, it's always in your heart. Right. It's in your heart. In my heart and in my mixes. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get down to the final round of the girl group gossip games and see who will be the champion and win the first title. I mean, you're not going to win anything because I don't have the budget for that, but you know. 
I was gonna say we don't get a lovely repeater badge. <gasps> Ooh, I I could send you a I'm a fucking star badge, and you could wear that. That could be the winner. That could be the winner's prize. Okay, work. Actually, oh, I can tell you, I've got new clack fans, so I'll send you one of those as well. <laughs> oh yes. Per. Let's get down to business, ladies. Fingers on buzzers. Question number one. Name all six members of Destiny's Child. Miss Cox. All right. All six members of Destiny's Child. The first, of course, is Beyonce. The second, of course, is Kelly Rowland, her second in command. <laughs> the third is the most recent addition to Destiny's Child, which is, of course, Michelle Williams. Then we must go to the, um, I would say, the, the lost member of Destiny's Child, who is, of course, Farah. Then we have the OGs, who definitely are salty, Latavia and Latoya. And that is all six members of Destiny's Child. Thank you for your TED Talks. That's one point to Miss Cobb. <laughs> <laughs> good job jackie <laughs> thanks 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 love Tessie's child <laughs> that was great all right question number two what was little mix's original band name on the x factor <gasps> mm. Mm. this i don't know this i don't know either little mix so they, they, they had to rename their name how rude yeah so Jan, I, can you imagine going on national television and having to change your name? <laughs> Jan. <laughs> I don't know this one. I don't know this one either. I'll give you some context. So when they were on The X Factor, they originally called this name, but it was a music charity. And they basically said, nah, you ain't using this. So they had to rename and come up. I think it was in like the second or third week of the competition. A music charity? Oh, like like we are the world? Like I can't think of any music charity. Band aid. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm like music charity. I'm like, I don't know. Do you surrender? We surrender. I surrender. They were originally called rhythmics. Rhythmics, like not the eurythmics, but just rhythmics. Just rhythmics, and I think that pissed off um, a lot of people with that name. So now they are Little Mix. Okay, so they kind of kept the mix at the end. Rhythmix, Little Mix. Oh, yeah. In the mix. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I see it. I see it now. I see it now. Cheryl, you're educating us so much. Well, this podcast is purely educational, Miss Cole. That's how we're getting that government subsidy. Thank you. Exactly. All right. Question number three. What year did Jerry Hallowell leave the Spice Girls? I'm going to go with 1999. Jan, you're incorrect. <gasps> no! Did I get a chance to steal? Miss Cox, this is your chance to come in and snatch the point. I'm going to guess the year 2000. Jackie. You are incorrect. Yeah! <laughs> oh my God, who are you, Ryan Seacrest? This is so scary. <gasps> it was 1998. I was like, it's 98 so or 99. Wait, that was, so she was only in it for like three years? They basically were only around for that time, kind of. Like, they, they really, once they were there, they were only in it for like a couple of years. But honey, they solidified themselves. Oh, they, they did the thing. Work. Ugh, I'm so furious about that. I mean, you should be scared, Jan, because she's coming for you. Miss Cox is coming for you. I know. I'm coming. No, I haven't racked up any points this time. All right. Question number four. How did Fifth Harmony arrive to the 2015 VMA's red carpet? Oh, God. These are so specific. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I'm totally guessing, but because it was one of your fake answers in the last one, I'm going to say helicopter. You're incorrect. Jan, this is your chance. M on motorbikes. And you're also incorrect. 
It was when they were on the side of that Hummer limo holding on to dear life. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I see it now. I see it now. They were like, Judy Garland did this first, and we're going to do our version. Clang, clang, clang went the Hummer. <laughs> ding, ding, ding went the... My bus say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding went the ecosystem with the Hummer. Right, this is our final question of the buzz around. <sighs> so, finish the lyric from Blue Hydrangea's iconic verse from the Frock Destroyers version of Break Up Bye Bye. I can be the hero for the gays back home. Bitches better watch out. Buzz away. Oh my God, it's so tight. You, who did you hear first, Cheryl? Oh, oh, right. I'm going to go with Jackie. I heard first. I'm sorry, Jan. I heard the... That's okay. First. That's okay. It's, it's fine. I normally fade into the background anyways. <laughs> Not I usually fade into the background anyways. <sighs> okay. Um, bitches better watch out or I'll send them home. Jackie. Oh no. You were incorrect. Damn it. Oh. Jan, this is your chance. Bitches better watch out. Now I'll send them home, 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 home. Damn it. I was so close. <laughs> you forgot the most crucial part, which is the four homes. <laughs> Oh my god. And the bravery, you know, I think when we when we're on drag race and we're thinking about clever rhymes and we're like, what rhymes with what? And I love that Blue threw out all those rules. I'm just gonna write rhyme home with home. Yeah. Lyricist, poet. The bravery. Can we get a, a declaration on is it is it now I'll send them home or is it or I'll send them home? Uh I believe the lyrics are now I'll send them home, 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 home. Okay. Jan, you were closer. Do you want me to quickly find out? Yeah! <laughs> Not the FaceTime noise. Oh my god, are you FaceTiming Bluey? Oh, she just closed me! <laughs> she just closed me! Bluey! <laughs> How dare she? Well, do you know what? She's like, hey, I'm writing a new song, babe. Let me call you back. <laughs> I mean, I feel like Stacey Lee Matthews. Fuck these bitches, Hanny. <laughs> yeah. Work. <laughs> So that concludes the girl group Gossip Games. Now, you both did so well, and it was a very, very close finish. <laughs> Don't but... lie to us, Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> but the winner of the first girl group Gossip Games with 11 points is Jan! Woo! Thank you so much. And I will be sending you your... Rue Peter sheds Peter badge in the post. Oh, I look forward to the sheds Peter badge. Give it a month and a half with postal systems, but it will get to you. Thank you. If, if, if an additional sheds Peter badge ends up as a consolation prize in Jan's package, I know where she lives. I'll just go grab it. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many people to thank, but I um, do want to give the biggest thank you to Nicola from Spice World. <gasps> giving birth in the Ministry of South nightclub, which I have to say, the first time I walked in there during my freshest year at university, I walked into this club and it's this really long tunnel. And I'm like, I feel like I've been here before, but I've never been here before. And I looked up to the balcony and I went, that's where Nicola went into labor in the Spice World movie. <laughs> and that is why my favorite Spice Girl song is Who Do You Think You Are? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nicola! <laughs> After having prepared for so long and for so many years to to compete at this level of the girl group games, I <laughs> though I didn't win, I want to thank the judges and my fellow competitors um, for making me even gayer than I was before I started this journey. Thank you. Right. Thank you. And Jackie, that's just kind of like a parallel for our time on Drag Race. We've prepared years and years. And although we didn't win, we are gayer than before. Much, much gayer, thanks to um, the, the education of Ms. Hall to us. Well, my darling, I am just doing my duty to the world to put back the knowledge and very lack of anything else <laughs> in, in my brain back to the world in the form of my girl group knowledge. So thank you both for joining me this week. Did you have fun? That's all I care about. The most fun. Honey, I had a 
blast. And I just want to say to you, congratulations on an amazing season. This is so exciting. And I love that you get to put your knowledge to the masses and have people come on and, and interview some of the dolls and divas and talk about what we love the most, which is our girl groups. Love the girl groups. And Cheryl, like this podcast has been so fun for everyone. And um, if there was maybe to be a season two, Cheryl, what are some girl groups that you would love to get into? I would love to hear where this podcast can evolve and grow. Give the kids something to want and dangle on. I have got many a thing in the pipeline for this podcast. I mean, we're not just limiting ourselves to just pop girl groups. I mean, we're keeping our opportunities open. So I would love to do a Desperate Housewives episode. I would love to do an Ugly Betty episode. Yes! A Real Housewives episode because you look at it, they're a group of girls. We're gossiping about them. Girl group gossip. Done. Episode in the bag. Oh my God. Love that idea. Please let me know when the Real Housewives one is. I will be there with my duster on. Jan, Jackie Cox, thank you so much for joining me. It is an absolute pleasure to have you on. And I love you both so deeply that I cannot wait to get over to NYC. The whole world keeps coming by bus, by plane. You can't explain. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I don't know why I'm going on an Annie tangent, but again, thank you, Divas. And I will s- speak to you very soon. Oh, thanks, Cheryl. We love you. Love you, love you, love you. Done. So that concludes another episode of Girl Group Gossip. Now I'm going to go put on my glab rags and head to the closing ceremony of the Girl Group Gossip Games celebrate with Jan have a nice little Prosecchi so we will see you next week for another episode of an iconic girl group gossip I'll see you there Davis. alright I love ya I love ya I love ya done bye 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 bye